So we are at Bulkworthy Solar Park, which is next door to our Goldsworthy Wind Park down in Devon. For us, it's the first solar project for a number of years. We'll be building an eight megawatt solar park, which will supply green electricity to nearly 3,000 customers for, for many years to come. So I'm really excited about that. And what, what's happening here today? So we're starting to put the piles into the ground. Uh, this is where uh, the frames will sit, where the, where the panels will sit on the frames. Uh, and the trenching going in for cabling and fencing and things like that. Panels which are on order and are on the way, they're a bifacial panel. So what they are is normal solar panel, which people might be familiar with, has a, has a back to it and it faces the sun. South facing is, is, is generally better, get most of the, the daylight into that. But the panels we're putting in are, are bifacial ones, so that back panel isn't on. So you still get some reflective light from the ground and, and, and surrounding area to, to give a bit of generation on the ones from, from the back as well. And that makes it cost effective. It makes it more cost effective than just single facing panels because you can generate more energy in, in a smaller area. Yeah. And on the topic of cost effectiveness, of course, we're combining uh, the grid here with our wind turbines, um, which is just a, a great concept where we know that the country is going through challenge at the moment when it comes to grid infrastructure. A lot of the capacity is taken. There's a lot of uh, reinforcement and investment needed and it actually provides a, a barrier to a lot of projects across the country due to that um, grid infrastructure challenge that we have as a country. So the cost effectiveness you mentioned for the bifacial panels, we also get that cost effectiveness from you know, that joined grid with the wind park, which is great. And also the fact that actually solar parks now are viable without a subsidy. The more and more of these projects the country builds and, and we build, it takes us towards that energy independence where we all want to get to, where we're not reliant on Russian gas and we're not subject to the volatility of wholesale prices. So that's the, the, the benefits from the commercial side, but there are some benefits for, for, for nature on the, the kind of project we're building here as well. So this ground here, which has been farmed since around about the 50s, which has been intensely farmed, so invertebrates and, and insects have been pushed out so that you can get the maximum yield from the crop. But what, what happens here is we give the ground a, a rest. These projects will be in the ground for up to 30 years. So it gives the ground a bit of a rest to recover. But what we do as well to enhance that is we test the soil, test the pH of the soil, then get an appropriate seed mix to put into this particular ground, seed it between the panels, uh, and that gives the nutrients to come back into the ground, gives animals, wildlife, birds, insects, vertebrates to come back into this, this area to improve their life and the, and the, and the quality of, of this land as well. Yeah, and from a Bills into Mills point of view, which is our kind of vision and mission as a company, it's a brilliant project for that because we've got the, the wind, we've got the sun park, and we've got the biodiversity. So, with all of those things, it's a great example of reinvesting our customers' money back into building renewable energy.